I'm Hannah and you're watching Tribe Time. Hey everyone, today we're switching it up. We're going we're to a teacher's. teacher's. Mrs. Baker is a physics teacher and has been working at the school for 19 years. We nominated Miss Lindsay Baker because of her bright and fun personality and her ability to make learning fun. She always dedicates her time to her students. Mrs. Baker loves traveling with her family and friends. She loves spending time outside with her family and she loves her beloved truck, Sylvia. She loves watching her kids do their thing. And she loves reading old books, decorating, hosting gatherings, sitting by campfires, napping, taking care of high maintenance animals, neglecting houseplants, attempting to teach her kids to clean up after themselves, attempting to teach her husband to clean up after himself, house improvement projects, and teaching. What kind of things went into organizing all of this? So first and foremost, we had to set, schedule a time with the American Red Cross, then we had to organize volunteers, and then we had to get snacks donated from uh, Walmart and Krispy Kreme. And then on the day of the drive, we had to set up registration, help the American Red Cross get set up with all the equipment they needed to draw blood, and we had to set up snacks and ensure that everybody who donated uh, recovered properly and was able to get back to class. What's up vlog? It's Jimmy. About to donate some blood. I'm excited. Let's get it. Alright guys, I just donated blood. It you was just donated blood. It, it was lit. Was um No I'm here with Noah Heggy. Noah, what did you do after you donated? I actually ate five three musketeers bars. Um there, we have a lot of them, and we need people to get rid of them because we just have a lot, and they're so good. It's very healthy. Yeah, very healthy. Yeah, I've been, I've been, yeah. Thank you, Noah. All right, Mr. Beaver, how you feeling? I'm feeling good before this. It's good. Let's see how good. I feel in like uh, 30 minutes. All right. If you a lot of people just the blood's a vital thing. A lot, everyone needs it really, and. Just there's a shortage of it, and it'd be nice, just nice to give the blood that I have to the people that need it. That's beautiful. Like it's something that if I'm allowed to do it, and if I can like actually do it, why not? I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing it. Like it's just like a good choice, and plus I get to get out of class. That's what's up. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to the volunteers and the donors? I'd really like to put out a thank you to the volunteers because it would not be possible to host this drive without them taking time out of their busy schedule to come down here and help out. We wouldn't be able to run registration, we wouldn't be able to set up in the morning, and we wouldn't be able to give out snacks and ensure everybody got back to class safely. So it was really them who made this drive work. And I'd like to put out another thank you to all the donors who took time out of their schedule to come down here and donate blood and were willing to do that. And some of them had to overcome big fears of needles and just drawing blood in general. So it's really appreciated and they're really making a difference. Where'd you get your dress? Deja vu. David's bridal in Hagerstown. Deja vu. Deja vu. Deja vu. Where'd you get your dress from? JMB. JMB bridals. JMB. 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 Thank you. JMB. What's your favorite part about working here? Um, interacting with the customers. It's probably my favorite part. What's the easiest way for girls to make an appointment and come find their dress? It's probably to call in. You can always like DM or Instagram and we can figure it out from there, but calling in is probably the easiest way. Can guys come here for suits too? They can. We have rentals that range about like $200. Show us your favorite dress. It is this one. It's a Giovanni. It's a size 6. <laughs> it's probably my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Happy
how do you balance tribe time with stuff that you do outside of school? Uh, good time management and good work ethic. So I like to keep a planner on me at all times just to balance all of my work. And I like to put reminders in my Remind app to let me know most important to least important things I need to do. So how do you balance tribe time with stuff that you do outside of school? Uh, I try to like integrate tribe time into like the stuff that I do, like whenever I'm going and doing other things, like the production or like tracks or like soccer, I take footage wherever I go. I just try to take footage all the time. I always have like a camera with me or my phone and I'm always just taking footage and getting stuff for new segments. So. Usually I just negotiate with a classmate of mine if there's something special going on in the school. We like to do that. <laughs> Whatever Mrs. Dickey tells me to do. So why did you guys sign up for Tribe Time? So, I mean, I just, um, as a freshman through um, I'd say sophomore year. I saw all these amazing group segments that all these hard working tribe time members were putting out, all this creativity, you know, like bring all this awareness to the community. And I thought I need to dedicate myself to this because that's what a hero would do. Because I'm, I'm like literally Batman. I saw a Batman movie, I was like, I'm Batman. So I thought to myself, what would Batman do? He is literally actually Batman. So <laughs> I am Batman. I, I have seen him before. He I, Batman, I am the so. Wade's real and uh, Quincy Couch. But yeah, it's all <laughs> it's all about community coming together. You know, that's all it's about. I watched my mom build this program from the ground up, so I've always just been like intrigued by it since I was really little. So this has been like a dream of mine since I mean like third grade. So that's why, and this is what I want to go into. I want to go into broadcast. So yeah. Thanks for making Tribe Time your time.